the light. Yep. Oh, hey, everybody. How you doing? I'm doing really good. Um, I just thought maybe I'd do a reverse dip like I always do. <laughs> yep. Same old, same old. But guess what? I like doing them. So I'm going to do another one. Um, but I'm using the leftovers. That's why I'm sitting here looking at all these leftovers from my, uh, what was it the other day I did those? The metallics. Oh yes, it was the puddle pour. Not the not puddle pour, but the uh oh my gosh, I can't believe my brain. Uh I swear I just remembered it a second ago and then I forgot. Wasn't the oh the hair blower one. So I'm using those leftover paints. <laughs> Jeez. Took what, 23 seconds to remember. <laughs> so I took white, Artist Loft White Flow, and I added some metallic gold, quite a bit. And then I just took a couple shots of bronze, metallic bronze in it. So that's what I'm gonna cover my canvas with. The only thing is, is I used my bottle of my metallic bronze and it might have been kind of like you know how when they sit in a bottle they might get chunks so I better strain it and yeah look at my <laughs> strainers kind of gone through quite a few strains I'll tell you what these things are prickery too they hurt so I'm gonna pour that on there. So it's kind of like a, I don't know. It's pretty though. Off white, almost tannish, but kind of metallic-y looking. I think that's good. There, I'll clean that up a little bit. I need to get to the dollar store and buy some more anyway. So, all these paints were mixed with two parts Floetrol and one part paint and then a little water to thin them down to my consistency, which is like warm honey or warm syrup, pancake syrup. That's exactly how I like it. Not too thin. Some may think it's too thin, but it's not thin enough to where it shows your edges. When you know you got somebody's that paints too thin, you'll see the edges, you know? So hopefully that's centered good. And I think it's good. All right. So, let me see, do I have everything here? Yes. Gonna pop some bubbles just to keep the surface looking nice when it dries. The background. So I do tip off a lot of paint. Good little quote coat. So if you get it too thin, then your plastic wrap will lift up and you'll see your canvas. Okay, so my espresso. I'm going to do the same pattern, but this time I'm going to do little, little dingies on the ends like I thought about doing last time. Hmm. 
kind of did that weird. Well, it's okay. spot. <coughs> Messed up. Well, it's okay. Let's keep going. Until I'm happy with it. There, I'm happy with it. <laughs> I did not do that right. <clears throat> and I'm going to put copper. I missed one. Oh. Then the lid just splattered. Okay. Then I'm gonna go with, uh, where's it at? Rose gold on top of it. So close and similar, but gives it a little prettiness. Oh, too much on that one. Oh. Then I'll go with. Gold. Whoops. So lots of prettiness right in there. Um, is this artist loft gold the flow? I suppose I should be telling you what brands, huh? Let's see, the espresso on the bottom is Craft Smart Premium. This is the $7 bottles that are on the bottom shelf in Michael's Metallics. Then the copper is the Artist Loft Copper, Metallic Copper. Then the Rose Gold is the Craft Smart Premium Metallic. Then the Gold is Artist Loft. Uh, flow it's starting to tilt obviously I'm not level bummer <laughs> then I'm gonna put um silver no you know yeah I was going to do some champagne in there, but I'm afraid I'm going to drip it because I don't have a bottle for it. So a little silver. Look how big they got. They never stay the way I want them to. Did I get them all? Yep. Then a little white. Of 
course those ones on the end were supposed to be tiny. <laughs> I put way too much. I made them too big. Hey, oh, I forgot one again. Okay. Then I think I'm gonna put a little gold in between. Look at how deformed it got. Oh my goodness. Well, you never know. This round wrap plastic wrap. Walmart. Start off with such small little circles and then they grow like this. Might be pretty on a 10 by 10 because it's not so much negative space like usual. Look at that. It's almost to the end there. slid it. <laughs> I'll just slid it again. pretty one. Even though it's off the end here, I can fix that. That's cool. Right on. So it's pretty. It's a pretty one. 
Oh, that's pretty in the middle, too. Yeah, it's this. You know what's making them unequal is the thumbtacks underneath. So these didn't turn out too bad, considering they weren't even. I'm really liking it. I'm loving it, so. Beautiful. Beautiful, that rose gold and the gold and that together just kind of really went well. So, I'll torch it. And yes, I will be taking that little tip off when you see the pictures. I'll have that off, but I'm not going to sit and mess with it now because it's not level. <laughs> the most important thing to do right now is get this baby level because I love it. I love the background too. You know, I used to just do all the whites. Now I'm starting to change the backgrounds a little. Hey, I have one more 10 by 20 with these colors. I don't know if some of you can remember it or not. There's a pretty long one. It turned out real good. This one's gorgeous. That's it. It's got some pretty cells popping out there. And I am happy with it. Dab it a little bit one more time. That's it. It'll settle more. Okay, so I'm happy with it. Once that part's gone, actually don't need to be too much just off the tip of that canvas there that one area that area right there be gone and it'll be pretty this turned out beautiful gorgeous there's no silicone in here i don't put silicone in just from the flow trawl always helps and having your consistency is the same but the, i still have some of this paint left so i'm getting three paintings out of a little bit of paint which is cool all right so i'm gonna go lay it down flat take some pictures this part's got a little bit too much white right there right at that tip so i'll take my stick Okay, and I'll just dip it in one of the colors, probably the the rose gold or the copper, and put a little bit in there. That's it. Other than that, and then fix this little guy. But I like the middle. I like it all. That's beautiful. All right, take it easy, guys. Thank you for watching. And I hope everybody's doing great today. We're headed into uh, the weekend, so that's awesome. <laughs> and everybody have a relaxing one, a good one, and um, enjoy your time. Okay? I'll catch you later. Bye-bye now.